Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mismatch of things per se. I want, I really love skincare. I'm very passionate about it. I've struggled with acne and redness for a very long time. I also have oily skin and I've tried out a lot, <laughs> a lot since high school. So that's a good like six-ish years of trial and effort and I've tried out a lot and yes this entire basket is full so what I did is I basically grabbed everything currently that is skincare no like not really any body care for the most part just like skincare there's a few body care products but mostly skincare products and I just wanted to go quickly over pros and cons whether or not I would recommend them hopefully this won't be too much of a disaster, but I have a lot of products here for my Vegan Cut subscription box service that I tried out, so I'll link the playlist above if you want to check out some of those unboxings. So this is kind of a way where I can follow up with some of those products that I've gotten in TJ Maxx hauls, Vegan Cuts bo boxes, etc. So I'm just going to start grabbing and oh, wish me luck. I'm going to try to keep this... It's going to be a pretty long video, but I'm going to try to keep each product as concise as possible. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Amy. I'm a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber who loves finding a good deal. I would love for you to hit subscribe and stick around for the bounty of videos on this channel. And let's go ahead and get into the treasure trove here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Let's start with two first aid beauty products. This is a brand that I sold at Sephora. I bought these when I worked there last year, at the end of last year. And I have the Ultra Repair Cream, which was very popular. And this is very gentle. There's no chemicals, parabens, colorants. It has, um, this word trips me up, colloidal oatmeal, which is supposed to be very good for sensitive skin. Their whole brand is aimed or like supposed to be good for sensitive skin, which is why I was attracted to it because I do have sensitive skin. I wouldn't buy this. This was like, I don't know, $30. Was it bad? No, not at all. Um, it worked well on my hands. I, I've been using it on my neck and like chest area and it's very gentle there. It works well on my face. And it, the thing that gets me though is it says intense hydration. To me, this is a very light weight like moisturizer. Like it's not super like thick. It's not like a thick cream. It blends in really fast. It absorbs quickly. It's not really that intense to me. Um, and I have more oily skins. So I think if you have like normal to oily skin, I think this would be enough hydration for you probably, at least for like a morning moisturizer. But if you have really dry skin, I don't know if this intense hydration would be enough personally. If you have dry skin, let us know if you've tried this, but would I repurchase this? No. Is it bad? No, it's good. It definitely works. It does the job, but it's kind of expensive for just a basic moisturizer, in my opinion. This, however, this is my second one, and I really want to get another one. It is kind of expensive, but it works so well. So this, again, is First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Love. Love, love, love. And all of their products are fragrance-free, which is another pet peeve of mine, as you will come to see. I do not like skincare that's fragranced, unless we're talking, like, a body lotion. But, like, if I'm putting it on my face, I don't want fragrance. So it's just, like, a very lightweight gel. It feels... So good. It, ugh, like, just putting it on my hand, it feels so good. It's a lightweight gel. It's kind of cooling on the face. I love this. Um, sometimes if I'm in a rush with my skincare or I just don't feel like doing my whole skincare, which does occasionally happen, I'll use this as my serum and moisturizer because it definitely hydrates my skin. Now, again, I have oily skin. I don't need, like, tons of hydration, but this feels so good. It's a great gel. It just feels very good. And what I like about this is I feel like it really does help with my redness. When I'm using this, I feel like my skin is just a little bit calmer. So I feel like this is a really good product. I like five stars. I love that product. So I will probably need to buy that again. Um, I talked about this recently in a favorites video, which I'll link my October favorites above if you want to check it out. This is the Pore Perfecting Toner. This is just 100% Witch Hazel. This is the CVS generic brand. It, I don't think it really matters what brand you're getting, but the Witch Hazel. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. I have part of this and I, I like have one of those little pumps where you have the bottle and then you can pop, pump your like cotton pad on there and it pushes some product out. 
that was a terrible description, but I think you know what I mean. That's how I use it, um, and I just use, I, I store this underneath until I need to refill it. Wow. So when I first started using this, the witch hazel, it was just a little too strong. It was a little too much for my sensitive skin, so I stopped. But for whatever reason, like a month, two months ago, I'd say, I started using this again. And this time, instead of trying to use it twice a day, like morning and night, I started introducing it once a day, and then now I'm doing it twice a day, and it does not irritate my skin at all. This is amazing. Again, one of the things I struggle with with my skin is unevenness, like red, redness here, like kind of blotchiness even. This has helped so much. My skin looks so good. My nose right now under my makeup is a bit red, but I also have allergies, so if I do sound a little stuffed up, that's why. So I'm blaming the allergies, but for the most part, my cheeks and nose, which is where I get the redness, so much better. This is perfect. This is so inexpensive compared to like buying a, a real toner or something, you know, like a fancy toner or whatever, and it works so well. I love it. And it's perfect too. For me, I like having a toner because at night when I'm taking off makeup, especially when I'm wearing like a full face like this, I'll use my cleanser and then I'll go in with a toner on the cotton pad and this will make sure every ounce of foundation stuff is off my face. That way it's not clogging my pores, it's not causing me to break out, all that stuff. So this is just a really good, like inexpensive toner. Um, if you do have sensitive skin, even if you don't, maybe try using it once a day at first just to kind of get your skin used to it because it is, the smell of it kind of burned a little bit at first, but my skin is looking so much better. Okay, this next one I, I like pretty well. I got this at TJ Maxx. This is the Yes to Coconuts Ultra Hydrating Facial Souffle Moisturizer. This is definitely like a thicker cream. So that's what the product looks like. It's definitely thicker than the other ones I've shown so far. Like just, I think you can tell probably just on my finger right there, but it it's definitely a lot thicker. It takes a while to kind of blend into the skin. But if I do... I don't use this every day, but when I do feel like my skin is maybe just a little bit drier or in need of a little boost, I will use this and it really works well. Um, I think if you, you know, if you have normal skin, dry skin, this would be a really good everyday moisturizer too. Um, but I like to kind of switch this up with like a lighter moisturizer personally, but I do like this and for $3.99 at TJ Maxx, I mean, yes please, yes. Um, this was a Vegan Cuts product. I've used almost like three-fourths of this. This is the Zaytik Gratitude Face Serum for All Skin. It has sea seaweed and algae. I I like this, clearly. I mean, I've used up three-fourths, so clearly I, I like it, but I wouldn't repurchase it, and I wouldn't go out of my way to recommend it to someone. Um, it works well. It feels kind of just like a gentle, like, light moisturizer, but I don't really notice any other benefits from this. So... I, I wouldn't recommend it personally. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not good enough for me to recommend, really. This I would recommend. This is my second bottle. This is the Wonder Seed Facial Scrub Virgin Hemp Seed Oil. Love this. <laughs> this is the first exfoliator that I can use on a pretty much daily basis without it being too much on my skin, irritating my skin, being too rough. It's very gentle. It's like it has little hemp seeds that are trapped in this really nice like gel so you just um you know you use your normal cleanser or whatever and then apply this to like a wet face and just kind of massage it into the skin and it feels so good i don't notice any dead skin or buildup or anything on my skin but it's so gentle it almost feels like you're not exfoliating which i love but my skin is not like in need of exfoliating so this is really good this is my second bottle i i really 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 like this i don't like this at all and this is really great reviews online. This is the Physicians Formula Eye Makeup Remover Lotion. So this is like a blue lotion that comes out. I've kind of used up half of it. I'm trying, trying to use this up, but I don't like it. I've tried applying it with my fingers. I've tried putting some on a cotton pad and then just gently kind of massaging it onto my eye to get my eye makeup off. And it just doesn't work. And you have to use so much of this product and there's not a lot in here. It's a pretty small bottle to get it to work. So it's really not worth it in my opinion, and you don't get that much. You get two fluid ounces, and from what I remember, this wasn't like super inexpensive either, so just, I would skip this. It really did not work well. I just use coconut oil most nights to take off my eye makeup, and it works well, and my lashes are so much better for it because they get hydrated from that, so yeah. I think just to skip that, I would definitely skip that. This eye cream is what I've been using for the last few months, and I'm very much enjoying it. This is the Ever Clean. 
eye cream and it's just in a little jar as most are. It's really nice. Um, this doesn't have like anti-aging properties. It doesn't really have any claims on here, but it's gentle, it's hydrating, it doesn't burn my eye area, and I just gently take my ring finger and kind of pat that in and a little bit up here as well. And it just feels good. It's really refreshing. So if you're trying to, to start like anti-aging stuff, I don't think this would do much for you. Maybe as like a morning um, eye cream because it is very hydrating, but it doesn't really have any specific claims, which kind of weirds me out. Like usually the eye creams have like a list of 10 things they're supposed to be doing or whatever, but this doesn't have any claims, but it is gentle, it's soothing, it's cooling, and it does hydrate my eye, eye area very well. So I like it. I definitely would not mind like getting a second one of these in the future. So this works pretty well for me. Okay, let's talk to deodorants. Well, it's the same line, different scents. Two deodorants really quickly. This is a like an indie brand. This is the Daisy G's Clear Stick Deodorant. Guys, 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 guys. I love these. These are handcrafted. There is no aluminum in them. There's no parabens. It's non-irritating. They have essential oils and silver to inhibit the growth of odor causing bacteria with yeast enzymes to neutralize ammonium, ammon ammonia, <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, more, it's early morning, I'm like tripping over these. For a powerful natural odor elimination system. That is a very good description. Like that really explains it well, better than I probably will, but I love these. So previously the natural deodorant that I've been hooked on is the Schmitz deodorants, and I still like those. I still have one of those in my purse. I do like them, and if I saw a scent that I really liked, I would still probably pick it up, you know? I, I really like it, but... The Schmitz ones are kind of like a drier feeling, and this is a true like gel. Like it is just like your normal non-natural deodorants, whatever you want to call them. Like it's just a nice gel. This scent here, oh, there's the lavender scent, which I found that I do not like lavender in like perfume or um, deodorants as much per for my personal taste. I prefer lavender like candles or p pillow sprays or a body lotion even, but so I'll still use this up. But the one I really, really love is the Lime Patchouli. I don't really smell the patchouli very strongly, but the lime, it smells like you just watched, walked by a lime tree. It smells so good. So I really like these. They are, I think they're like eight or nine dollars. Everything will be linked down below. So they're not super expensive and they really are like a smooth, clear gel. There's no dryness. There's no irritation. They go on super smoothly. You don't have to heat them up on your skin for a long time. So I found that a lot of the other natural deodorants I've tried, you kind of have to like heat them up for a long time. This one, these you don't. I I never thought I'd rave about a deodorant, but I'm raving about these deodorants. They, they're really good. So definitely check these out if you're looking for a good natural deodorant that is easy to apply and works just as well, in my opinion, as a lot of other deodorants. Okay, this irritated my skin, unfortunately. This is the Gaffer and Child Facial Cleanser. It's a really light, liquidy feeling. It has a pump on top, but one, it really did not take off any makeup. And it says our products are highly concentrated, so a little goes a long way and just shake it. But I had to use so much of this to try to get my makeup off. And even when I used it when I had no makeup on, like just to wash my face in general, it just always felt kind of greasy and it kind of irritated my skin. Like it just stung just a little bit, so I'm just not a fan. And this was a pretty expensive product from Vegan Cuts, my Vegan Cuts subscription box that I remember. So I was just like, nope, not for me. <laughs> this product was given to me a while ago by the company and I'm almost out of it. I really love it. This is the... Vintage Set Soapery's Emulsified Sugar Scrub and the Ocean Breeze. I have a whole video on what they on the products they gave me, so I'll link that above if you want to check it out. It's not sponsored or anything. It's just my thoughts on what they um, gave me, which was really nice. But this is just such a smooth scrub. I've almost completely used. Oops. <laughs> I've almost completely used it up, and it's just really nice. It smells good. It smells fresh. It doesn't stick to the bathtub or shower like. I've had some scrubs that get everywhere and it's just a mess and it's a pain as a result. But this smells really good. A little bit of water and my legs are so smooth. I love using this on my feet. I use this on my elbows. Like, I love this. I even use it a little bit gently on my chest area, which I only do like once a month or so just to make sure everything's, I don't know, clean. But 
really nice. If um, I would love to get another one of these. They just smell so good. They work really well. They're easy to use. They're not messy. Pretty much everything that I want in a body scrub. So really love this. I definitely would recommend that if you're looking for a good body scrub. Please do not buy this product. <laughs> I, it, it does not work. Like even in the slightest. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. And I was so excited for this because I had never tried like one of those melt cleansers before and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I've heard such good things about the Clinique one, but of course that one's quite a bit more expensive and they test on animals, so I wasn't going to buy it. So it's just a very sticky, it almost looks like Vaseline, like that's kind of what it feels like. You're supposed to massage this into your skin and then apply warm water and it's supposed to melt away makeup, dirt, everything on your face that shouldn't be there. Um, no, this does not work. It gets everywhere. It's so messy. I'm just sitting there like with gobs of this all over my face trying to get anything to come off my face. It's such a mess. I always have to use another cleanser after this and I've tried switching the order like I've tried putting water on my face then adding this to see if it turns into the milky cleanser that it's supposed to turn into. It does not turn into anything. It just feels like you're pushing around petroleum jelly on your face which doesn't remove makeup, nor does it feel good, so I would highly recommend avoiding this, like, completely. This e.l.f. product worked pretty well, though. This is the e.l.f. Mattifying Bubble Mask, and I was also very excited about this because it has one of those, like, cool pumps where you just, you push down here and your product comes out, which I think is really cool. I like this. It does bubble on the face. It's like a gray color, so you look like a gray cloud. It's very fun, and it just feels good when I wash it off. My skin just feels, like, softer. Do I think this is like a miracle worker mask? No, but I think it's very fun to use. It's really enjoyable, it's relaxing, and your skin still feels good afterwards. So to me, it's still like a nice mask. Is it a skincare changer, no, game changer, but... Is it a skincare game changer? No, but is it still like a nice product that I will use up and enjoy? Yes, so that one's really fun. If you've been looking to try a bubble mask, that one's nice. Let's talk these two here. Now, I have oily skin, so you might think, Amy, why do you have these? Great question. Um, this is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Illuminating Moisturizer. Now, packaging-wise, this is gross, because it the <laughs> you squeeze this and the product comes out of here, which is fine the first few times, but then it gets kind of crusty and it's gross, I think. However, the product is nice. It does give you a very beautiful glow, but I would not pay like the 20 or $30 that this probably is, personally. If you're looking for like a nice like glowy moisturizer to use before makeup, this one's nice though, and I've actually almost used it up. This is the Tarte Brighter's Day, Brighter Day Moisturizer, and it's called a highlighting moisturizer, which is a really good term because as you will see, it is very, like very luminescence. Once you blend it into the skin, you just get a very dewy look overall. It's almost like one of those illuminating, illuminating primers, except you get this and the moisture. So I like the product. I think it's really nice. I use a light touch with it, um, and I still set my face, but it does give you just a nice, like, soft glow under your makeup. So I really do like this. It's quite nice. I was not expecting to like this as much as I did. This irritated my skin so badly. I had like an allergic reaction to this. My face was bright red for like a day and it was burning and I was like, it was bad. This is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. This is like a sample size. It burned so badly. Like, I have never had a reaction to skin here like this and I know I have sensitive skin, but I even checked it on their website. This is supposed to be safe for sensitive skin. It's not, and before you ask, I'm not allergic to honey. So I'm not allergic to anything that I know of actually. So I do not know what it is with this, but my face was on fire within about two minutes. And I know this is like a warming mask, but I mean, my face was on fire. Like it was not warm, it was burning. So I immediately rinsed it off within like two, three minutes of having it on my face. I was splashing cold water on my face. I had to, I, I took an Advil and then I put an ice pack on my face because my face hurt so badly. Like, I fell asleep with an ice pack on my face. I, and I've heard, this is like one of their top selling products when I worked at Sephora, so if this is your favorite product, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, I'm just letting you guys know that with my sensitive skin, my face was on fire. So be cautious. If you have sensitive skin, maybe put a little bit on your hand first to see 
if your hand will start burning or anything so just just a thought okay this is wonderful this is the anointment rose toner I'm I have like a few sprays left I got this in vegan cuts just very refreshing it feels good it has rose in it which is pretty hydrating and gentle on the skin I'm not a huge fan of the rose scent but of course it's a rose toner so I kind of expected that it would smell like roses and it does so if you hate the smell of roses just a heads up but I've almost used this up I love using this to kind of wake up in the morning because it's very fresh and it feels good and my skin just feels soft so I love facial sprays that has been what I've been hooked on this year that I was kind of introduced to with vegan cuts and I was like oh my goodness um, another rose product this is the farmstead apothecary face cream and this is the citrus rose version that's what it looks like another vegan cuts product this is a very thick cream and you can definitely smell both citrus and rose here which I I'm glad it smells like citrus as well because that kind of cuts the rose smell a little bit for me it it looks it doesn't look like a super thick cream when I like put it on my finger but it really does take like a minute to soak into the hand or face which is where you'll probably be putting it but I do like it I feel like this is a little bit richer of a cream than what most of the other things I've been talking about today so I do only use this at night because I really if I use this like twice a day my skin would just be like too much too much too much but this is a really nice cream it just feels good it's very soft soothing and super hydrating so this is a really nice product I am enjoying that okay last product this is the Kate Somerville exfoliate intensive exfoliator I did get this in gratis at Sephora I heard some real like I've heard some people tell me this is extremely intense and with my sensitive skin I was kind of like oh okay like that makes me a little nervous not at all like this honestly was not that intense to me which shocked me you only want to use it once or twice a week. You massage it onto the face for about 30 seconds, then leave it on the skin for a minute or two. And it just, because it, it has like a, I believe it's like a chemical exfoliator that kind of, so you don't have to like sit there for a long time massaging it because it, it just exfoliates the skin by being on it. Hopefully that made some sort of sense. But it works well. I do like to use this. I usually just use it once a week because I have that Wonder brand exfoliator that I use every day that's very gentle but this does feel like it gives you a very good like clean face so I do like to use something a little more intensive every week um, this is a pretty expensive Kate Somerville is very expensive so I'm not going to repurchase this in the future however I do think the product is really good so if you do have the money or you're looking to splurge it is a nice product so okay guys that is the end of my current skincare I do have a few other things in my collection of course that I am trying out that I don't have thorough thoughts on yet so that's why they're not included if you heard me mention something recently if it's not included that's because I don't have a full like my full thoughts developed on it but let me know right now what skincare are you loving do you have oily skin dry skin if you have a different skin type than me or even if you have the same type as me let me know if you've tried these products and how they worked for you with your skin type I would be extremely curious it's always fascinating to see how skincare body care and products work for people in different ways so please share your thoughts and experience down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content coming soon. I am uploading four videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I would be so excited for you to join me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!